he was racially profiled and pulled over without probable cause, and that his rights were, his rights were violated. He recorded the traffic stop on his cell phone. NBC 7's Rory Devine joins us now in South Cross. That's where the traffic stop took place, right, Rory? That's right, Mark. It happened here on Vesta Street around 9.15 on Sunday morning. And the question about this story is, why was he stopped? So he says he's been stopped numerous times in the past when he was on probation at a time when he gave up his Fourth Amendment right not to be searched. Now he says he's being stopped even though he is no longer on probation. Either way, he says it should not matter. And I checked with a defense attorney today who said, even if you've given up that Fourth Amendment right not to be searched, officers still need probable cause to pull you over for a traffic stop. All right, so that's why you pulled me over? What did you pull me over for? I feel that he was targeting me, you know, I'm racial profiling. On the video, you hear the officer telling 38-year-old Columbus White his name came up on a computer database as being a fourth waiver. He didn't approach me and say, hey, I'm pulling you out over for speeding or I'm pulling you over for having a um, bad registration and your tag is not over it. A fourth waiver means a person is on probation or parole and has waived his constitutional rights to be free from searches and seizures without a warrant. I'm not on parole probation, sir. I'm not on parole probation. On the video, you hear the officer say he's going to conduct a fourth waiver check. Quote, you know how it goes. You also hear him say it is probable cause to pull you over. It is probable cause to pull you over. What was the probable cause? Because I'm a fourth waiver? Because you ran. At that point, White tells the officer to call his supervisor. White is handcuffed without incident, but not before handing over his cell phone to a black bystander who continues recording. And when backup arrives... I don't have to back up. I don't have to back up. Why? Why? You get away from my officers. And you can hear me in the background as I was handcuffed. I'd tell him, get off of him. Leave him alone. What happened to Columbus is the perfect example of what we're saying that's happening in our community numerous of times. Numerous of times, right? And, and that's part of the problem. Bishop Cornelius Bowser, a community activist, says this is why there is a push to reform what is allowed to be asked during a traffic stop. They'll find anything to, you know, give you a ticket for once they stop you and, and they want to justify it. San Diego police promise a full investigation. If that can help, yes. But what are they going to do about it? That's the whole question. Now, Bishop Bowser says there is a proposed ordinance now that the city attorney is reviewing that specifies that if you pull someone over with probable cause, you can only talk to them about why you pulled them over. Why that probable cause? Meantime, White says he received a ticket, a citation for speeding, and he received a ticket for having an expired uh, license registration. He says not true, and he hopes the investigation will show that. Reporting live, I'm Rory Devine, NBC7. All right, Rory, thanks very much.